Every now and then you get a creative group who over the course of a few years becomes a phenomenon and commands a legion of fans, all without sacrificing identity or giving it to trends and sales patterns. It does not happen as often as it should, but there are still musicians who maintain their merit through continuing to hold on to two things, their own individual music and their own individual personality. The two men of 21 Pilots may be the perfect example of musicians in the alternative rock scene not only having the time of their lives, but being entirely creative and individual as they want. After a relatively short time since the group's formation in 2009, these Ohio natives have literally become one of the most sought after music acts in the industry, and to this day have some of the best concert sales throughout the US and Europe. After several featured songs from 2013's Vessel, they have toured with bands like Neon Trees and Walk the Moon and now run their own headlining shows throughout full-size arenas. Needless to say, expectations are high for the next full album. When making an album, artists may have different focuses for the process. In a press release for Blurry Face, Tyler Joseph said, The one thing Josh and I always had in mind when we were making this record was, how is this going to look and feel live? We were so influenced by the live show, a lot of the writing came from wanting to create something that we would actually love playing in front of people every night. Words like creativity and individuality sound great when describing music and their artists, but do not add up if the finished project doesn't represent that. So our first look at the new album Blurry Face came in the song Tear In My Heart, which undeniably had the feel of two masked men on stage playing their hearts out. I'm on fire, she's the tear in my heart, take me higher than I've ever been. My heart is my armor, she's a tear in my heart, she's a carver, she's a butcher with a smile. If you are at all familiar with 21 Pilots, then you can identify Tear in My Heart as their song after 20 seconds into the track. If ever there was a perfect example of a 21st century love song, then this song would be it. The piano keys and powerful drums all come through strong with a beautiful chorus that is robust and vibrant. It's obvious why this song should have been the track to get people excited about Blurry Face. My only real complaint with this song is that what many people have already said online, in that the bridge, or the driving in a car sing-along, really takes you out of the music. While this song would have undeniably been way too short without this section, I can't help but shake the feeling that the song feels disjointed because of this off-road venture into a mini-song before jumping headfirst back into the original music. Regardless of the nitpick in my own personal opinion, this song still stands out as a fully trademarked style by 21 Pilots, and that may be their greatest strength. Regardless of the style of song they choose, from alternative rock to hip-hop to reggae to island sing-along, the image of these two men are drenched in the rhythm of every song they write. I love the energy in the choruses within Blurry Face. Songs like Heavy Dirty Soul, We Don't Believe What's On TV, and Polarize all capture the same power that Tear In My Heart possesses. It's the electronic rhythm infused with the piano that stand out, but it's the vocals and masterful drum work by Josh Dunn that meld everything together. The only downside of having so many different styles in the same album is that it can be difficult to flow from track to track. Not every song will be for every listener. That being said though, it is undeniably unique and interesting to play this album from beginning to end and marvel at the pure talent and creativity level that is featured throughout here. Even if not every song is something to connect with and you may feel like skipping your one style over another, you are almost guaranteed to find another song you love shortly after. I don't care what's in your hair, I just wanna know what's on your mind. I used to say I wanna die before I'm old, but because of you I might think twice. To restate Tyler Joseph's quote, they made this record with the mindset of how these songs would come off live. After listening to Blurry Face, it is undeniable that their focus paid off in huge waves. Each song on this album can easily be imagined by these two jumping into the pit mid-song just to have the crowd sing along for them. Overall, Blurry Face is the perfect example of what two artists are capable of when they aren't restricted and don't have to hold back. Even if every song isn't something that every alt-rock fan will love, it's undeniable that there is something here for everyone, including the die-hard 21 Pilots fans.